name is Sebastian and in this video I want to show you my most used CLI commands because if you have watched this channel you've probably seen that I use the command line a lot and I just want to show you some of the commands which might be some examples or inspiration for you to use the command line more. So of course the obvious ones that uh, come to your mind with regards to displaying uh, files or maybe navigating is something like ls, like displaying the current uh, directory. But with this I'm actually, um, whether you type ls or l, I'm not uh, really using the ls uh, functionality, but I'm using the, which you can see here, exa functionality which is an alternative for this ls command that is just well a little bit nicer with regards to the colors if you can see it here there's some uh, slight coloring that you can um, put in and of course you could display your own well information what you would like to see which is highly configurable and you can set up some environment variables and things like that so if i would um, compare this to the typical ls command for the similar functionality then you see okay this doesn't include some colors and some more information that might not be um, that interesting so this is just uh, what I'm using here so that's uh, the first one this command that of course I have an alias for and I also have some shortcut for for me control uh, k that just displays the current directory much faster so that's a first one and then also there are some other obvious ones, for example, cat, which I'm also using an alternative for, that is um, the bat command, like b, which, well, has some syntax highlighting. So that is kind of interesting if I have a JSON uh, file or a YAML file, you just have some syntax highlighting here with some colors, which is nice. And it uh, shows a less like syntax if you have a long file. So it's just a little bit nicer. And again, you might want to include an alias. And I also have a shortcut for C that is just a cat because I use this all the time. And then you can uh, type it as such. That's another command and maybe an interesting alternative. This bat uh, command that you might want to have a look at. So then another more obvious one is Vim. Of course, I use this um, program a lot. I use this editor a lot and I've uh, talked about this um, on my uh, channel quite often. So if you look in my other videos, you will see this. And that's a quite regular tool that I use actually all the time just as a uh, pretty much Swiss army knife. If I need to edit some text or edit text efficiently, um, I also have a video on that where it's just really helpful. And of course, then you would uh, want to set up some aliases or some uh, other shortcuts to start up these things uh, just a little bit well nicer. So for example, I have in my tiling window manager a possibility uh, to just uh, start up a new uh, window with well the editor already being open and things like that, which is just kind of interesting. So that's helpful here as well. What's more, you might want to know um, or you might know this tree command, uh, which is kind of cool uh, when you say, well, I would like to create some directories. That then you can view the structure. So that's quite helpful and you can also display some different hierarchies. For example, I mapped this also to uh, some control uh, command for control J and control um, H for different uh, hierarchies, which now you don't see. So if I say I have different directory hierarchies that then are just displayed as such. So the tree command for navigating is also really helpful, especially if you bind it to some keystroke where then you can navigate even faster than in some other file explorer. So this command is also quite helpful. What other things I have for navigating files, it's quite interesting. I use the copy command as also an alias because this X copy, you can check this out. That's also an alternative. Why? Because well, quite often I was just overriding files per accident if the file already exists. And now this mode would warn you if that and actually not do it if it already uh, if it's uh, existent. So if I say um, I create a file JSON to JSON or something like that, and now I want to copy this to uh, my 
what's the word, uh, name test.json then it wouldn't do it uh, because it already exists so that's just some sort of shortcut for uh, making that safer and so on and so forth so another helpful thing um, speaking about json files you might know this mjq um, command that especially help is helpful for these piping things so then you can just first of all pretty print some json and then of course also extract some fields for example this hello field extracted without the quotes and then you can use this value which is really helpful if you're dealing uh, with http backends that display some json and then first of all you can pretty print it and then also use it for example in a shell script this can be a really helpful um, this tool as well and there is also an equivalent for yaml uh, which is the uh, yq tool that does a similar thing where you say, okay, please access the um, hello or, well, array and so on and so forth. So that's also uh, kind of interesting here. So these tools might be helpful for you as well. But then for the more uh, general uh, tools with uh, Unix, with regards to Unix, so if you just uh, use grep, well, you pretty sure you know about this, that's quite helpful, but you might have seen that I also have some alias um, for well combining that so just in general the more you get used to using the command line it can be really helpful uh, to use alias uh, aliases to set this up and in general if you're more interested about um, that topic I have a video course on that link down below that explains well also the uh, motivations behind it and what to look out for because everything I'm showing you here are just examples and obviously you will come up with your own uh, scripts and aliases and usage of commands well based on your needs so that's uh, that's also kind of interesting more um, about the uh, unix world is also when you say i have some um, let's say ls for json that should be these two where i say use this xargs command that's kind of interesting handling file but uh, for this way you can say okay for example i would like to um, execute a command for example remove uh, this file let's not do it but have an echo where then you could just execute some co um, commands uh, that are piped for some other result or that you can use in some batching so this xargs is a pretty powerful and kind of interesting uh, command command here as well that i actually use quite often so if you're new to the command line this might look like a lot of kind of weird or, or magic examples but actually the more you get used to it it is really really helpful to use these piping uh, functionalities and then also uh, well use some commands and if you cannot remember the syntax then just set up some aliases or you know some some small helper helpers that then just make you more productive by combining these which i think is just uh, kind of cool Another, well, not really command, but feature I use quite often is uh, globbing in its uh, all forms. So for example, if you say you have a star that then, well, just will expand to all of the files and directories here, but there are some other examples. For example, if you say you would like to uh, rename a file, my JSON file, where I quite often have something like uh, this syntax, where I say, okay, um, I include this for for example the the current date another shortcut where then you can say okay this expands to renaming something here so that's um, kind of interesting if I say test.json and I want to say that should be test-file then you can write this just in a shorter way and you don't have to well um, you don't have to repeat yourself with the file name that's also interesting um, same if you would like to create some files let's say you would like to create um, 10 files here that then would just have the syntax which also works with uh, leading zeros which is kind of cool so you can say okay I would like to uh, create uh, let's say 100 files here so you can have um, leading zeros and then of course you know you can that's basically just expands to this one so you can use it as such which is also you know a helpful well, command line functionality here that can be helpful if you uh, use this more and more what's more for the java world that i'm uh, in a lot of course uh, you would use uh, the commands for your build tool a lot like maven or well java so these are other 
uh, commands that I use quite often. Of course, if you use Docker, that's another uh, interesting um, command and interesting uh, functionality. Again, for all of these things, if you use them a lot, you really want, might want to think uh, about setting up aliases. For example, things like Docker PS, which you've just seen, I can type quite fast because I've typed it all over again. And then it really makes sense to think of some aliases. But I was also um, talking about this here on this channel quite a lot. Another quite obvious one on the command line is Git, where I also have a video uh, on that, how to be more efficient on the command line. So I don't want to repeat myself here. But with all of this, um, it can be really helpful to be a little bit more uh, productive. What is kind of cool as well, if you have a look at your history, um, so, for example, I came up with some, well, uh, fun command here. What does it do? Uh, first of all, we have a look at our history. That is my Z shell shell here um, with this file and say, OK, let's remove this basically removes the, the timestamp and just extracts the command and say, OK, sort it and then um, sort it by uh, the number, like how often this actually individual commands are in this history file, like whole commands, including arguments and then had give me the top 30. So let's have a look at that where you say, OK, what are the commands that I'm executing all the time? This also includes aliases. So for me, that's just, you know, some git aliases for git at all. And of course, two dots like go to the uh, previous directory, the parent directory and things like, you know, uh, Maven, Docker and things like that. Now you might say, OK, am I typing this all the time? No, as I just uh, showed you, I'm using aliases for that so that it's not a big deal. But if you see some commands here for which you don't have aliases yet or which you'd keep typing all the time, maybe something like git status, you really want to uh, see if there's some more, well, effective way around. So that's a kind of interesting command. You can check this out here uh, as well to just have a look at if you use the command line a lot, what are actually the <laughs> commands and arguments you, uh, you type all the time. So this is, you know, the number of occurrences here. So that's uh, kind of interesting uh, here as well. So I hope this was interesting. Um, as always, with these commands and helpers, it's really not about using my examples here. If you do want to check out my examples, I have them um, on my dot files in uh, on GitHub. You can, of course, have a look at them, maybe just as some examples or as an inspiration. Uh, but again, it's really not about using them. It's about getting some idea what you can use. And you will obviously come up with some different examples. But in general, I can just encourage folks to use the command line a little bit more. It's, I think, one of the best ways to use automation. It's really fun, especially in a uh, Unix or Linux world. And with this, I believe you can be much more effective as a developer. If you want to learn more about this, as I said, I have a video course on this link down below. And if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate a like. And if you subscribe to my channel and thanks a lot for watching. Bye.